Paul, thank you. For Black History Month, we wanted to showcase an exceptional athlete. She goes by the name The Beast. And once you see her, you can see why. She's claimed that name. She's amazing when she steps into the ring. We're so excited to talk to you. The Beast, right here. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> Do you like my drum roll introduction? <laughs> Um, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's very nice to be here. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, I can just imagine what, what your day actually looks like. But I want to talk about Black History Month and I want to talk about what you're doing and why diversity is so important to you in the ring and in your space. Um, it's important because, you know, representation matters. You know, um, there, if you see someone who looks like you doing something that you didn't know was possible or that you didn't even have on your radar, then it opens a new world to you. Um, I went through the fire academy and before that I hadn't seen a firefighter that looked like me until I went to the fire academy. And I think that's it's so important for us to have things like that. Um, and so in my space, I always make sure that I'm as visible as possible because you never know who's looking at you and what they see that might spark something in them. And in sports, it's just, bigger than ever, you know? Yeah, it's absolutely. It's bigger than ever. Tell me how you even got into this. I'm so curious from Fire Academy to what you're doing now and creating this, creating your own lane. Um, I grew up with far too many brothers. Okay, and <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> we, we watched wrestling every weekend and after wrestling was over, I was the test dummy until, oh, no. until I learned how to do the moves back. <laughs> and, and then I got the opportunity to to be a part of WOW. And as soon as I heard about it, I kicked open the doors to David McClain's office and said, I'm going to be your next champion. Mm -hmm. And there was no turning back from there. Were your brothers like, please stop, please. We, we want to go back to when we were younger and you couldn't oh, beat us up. <laughs> yeah, they opened a can of worms that that was a bad news for them, <laughs> bad news. And once I understood my power, my strength, mm -hmm. that it all lies within here, and it's not necessarily in your physique, but it's here and it's mm -hmm. in your heart. Once I found that, oh, it was over. It was over for everyone involved. <laughs> I love that. Um, can we talk a little bit about your name, The Beast, but mm -hmm. then also any advice you have for little girls or just young people looking to try to find their own path and create their own destiny? Um, I always say The Beast found me. Um, I didn't pick that name, it really chose me. Everything I would do from running tracks to sports in high school and college to fire academy, I was a professional bodybuilder into wrestling, people would always say, oh, you're such a beast. That I make my mark in everything that I do. And so I feel like the beast is just that, that drive, that determination, that discipline I put behind everything. Mm -hmm. And it keeps me going, it fuels me. And uh, I try to tell, cause I do work with children. I try, I try to tell little girls like, it lives inside of you. My beast may look different than your beast, but that beast lives inside of all of us. And we just have to believe in ourselves and turn it on and then let the power go. That's great advice. Um, tell me who you looked up to when you were making your moves into the avenue you're in right now. I know you watched wrestling with your brothers. Was there someone that just caught your attention and you said, I wanna do that, I wanna be like that? I did. It wasn't necessarily a person, it was mm -hmm. just strength. Mm -hmm. It was just seeing strong women, it was seeing strong people. It was it was that that aggression, that energy, that attitude, and I felt like no one can stop you. If, if, if you refuse to lay down, to, to not take that one, two, three, no one can stop you in life, in the ring, anywhere. And it was kind of that mindset that I got. It was fighting my brothers. It was being pinned <laughs> down by them. And, mm -hmm. and one day, you know, you get a little bit ahead of them, those small victories, you know, today I got you a little bit more until you saw it in the, the fear in their eyes and the, the switch changes. And so those were the things I fed on growing up. What's it like being a part of this show and being a part of so many other women athletes? Um, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing because growing up it was very male dom dominated in mm -hmm. sports. Um, and so to be able to have a, a, a whole s slew of strong women to pull from, to be around, to grow from, it's, I, I appreciate it. I, did, I never thought I was a girl's girl until I met this group of strong women. What's, okay, so I'm watching, <laughs> Obviously, we have this playing. <laughs> this looks really intense. So what on earth does your day-to-day -day look like? Because I'm picturing, you know, you eat a lot of egg whites, right? Because that's protein. Maybe some turkey bacon, because I hear turkey bacon is 
better than the other bacon types. Maybe a lot of push-ups. What does your day-to-day -day look like? How long are we in the gym for? Um, I, I, I don't use the word love lightly, but I love the gym. Okay. I am in the gym hours. Hours, it makes the happy chemicals in my brain. It makes the angry chemicals in my brain, which I foster <laughs> and I harness and I aim at people. And so that makes me super happy. Um, it's like happy chemicals in my brain. So I wake up first thing in the morning, I go straight to the gym. Mm -hmm. Whether it's cardio, whether it's lifting weights. Um, from there, I will go to work. I'll come train wrestling, and from there I go back to the gym if you. time allows. I, I just a power love house. the gym. Do you do the egg whites? Am I wrong? I, I do egg okay, whites. I'm I, just curious. I would eat I would eat a roaming cow if it didn't get away from me fast enough. <laughs> protein is protein, meat is meat. I love it. I like to eat. You're amazing. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it.